Alright guys, we're in. I was watching the stream. So, let's see what we're doing today, guys. We're doing uh, week six results. Uh, Lions won. Uh, we have anyone from Lions here? Enders. And Tell us, how, how did this game play out for you? Um, they didn't... Hopefully we won against Demons. Yeah. Uh, um... To be honest, they fucking troll drafts. I don't know what they were trying to ban, but I would let me look at the band here. They banned uh, Caitlyn, Zach, Jarvin, Zach's fine. They banned the Caitlyn over to Zeri, and I got Zeri both games. So that was there. Yezzy was on Comfort Champs as well. Uh, we played with the top sub because Muxal wasn't there, and he did pretty good. It was pretty much every lane one, both games, and it was a quick game, a quick two games. It was just a huge uh, team gap. See, I see. All right, now we got Feast or Famine versus Phoenix. Um, Lizzo, how was your game? I'm All right, good here? job, Lizzo. <laughs> I knew you guys won, and you were just so fucking speechless. That's why you didn't say anything. I'm speechless too. Aren't you guys speechless too? Lizzo yeah. was talking about how he's never lost lane to Sonic. I think that says enough. I mean, Sonic went 2 and 10, bro. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess Lizzo's just a better top laner. I see, I see. Next, we got Eagles versus Sabres. So, Eagles won. I think everyone saw that. I don't know if it went 2 or 2 1. It was 2 0. 2 0. This is really good for yeah. them. So, you know, yeah. they're in the top echelon of top 8 or, or about to be. Um. Yeah. Let me see what else. Next, we got Black Mamas versus Sharks. Wait, yeah. the Sharks win or the Black Mamas win? No, sh sh sharks lost. Sharks oh, lost. My bad. I think someone's trolling me. All right, so uh, turn up. So you guys lost last week. How was that? Yeah, we did. Uh, I, I didn't play. I didn't play. play. Yeah, yeah. So I oh. mean the. Yeah, I mean, it, it was if I was going to play the team, the team's not the same, so it's like. Yeah, you saw Ida was on the enemy team and he dodged. Hey, I was in LA, bro. I'm lucky. Yeah, hey, tell everyone what, what you were doing in LA. I uh, I had a missions tour for UCLA Med, and? so. Yeah, I got a tour at the med school. And the other thing. And I did Dig Digimon World oh, Championships qualifiers go. to go. There we go, guys. The most important mm. thing. Yeah. Digimon Pro. Alright, next yeah. we got Waffles versus Corgis. Uh, Corgis won. Uh, Easy. I'm pretty sure we went 2-0. Um, yeah. That's that pretty much it. Too. I don't know. Ixi can tell you. The game was pretty weird to us. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, don't they know. do what most teams do against us. They just kind of like camped bot and then mid-game went top. So, I don't know. It was just kind of like... I don't know. Like, it was really like, weird. Reversing. Like... Someone said, like, I feel like we're playing against, what was the team? Feast or Famine? And I was like, I guess. Yeah, I pretty know, similar feeling. Yeah, it was like the same. It was like deja vu. It was really weird. How did uh, how did Arctic do? Like, how do you, how do you play? Not well. Um, if you're curious enough, go into Seb's Twitch and go into the clip section. And uh, <laughs> I think you'll you'll be able to find it from there. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I um People don't know who Seb is, but Seb is of uh, the palace. Yeah. Uh, he had a very, <laughs> let's just say. Emotional post game speech. He had to be talked down from the plank. Let's just say that. <laughs> we didn't want him jumping into the water to swim. Uh, I see. Game of the week. Do you guys think uh, Mamas vs. Sharks um, lived up to the hype? No, that shit was depressing, no, bro. Not really. Yeah, that shit was hella depressing. <laughs> I mean, I made that. I think I. Wait, did I? Did I make that before I knew? That, I think uh, you still put it because it was. You, some people said it was yeah. important for standings, which I hundred. No, it was. Said. It was important. Well, yeah, I. I didn't. Um, I didn't tell anyone I was. I was going to make it until. Like two days later. Or yeah, yeah, I knew before, before. Turnips wasn't going to be there, but I thought it'd be a bit more closer. Nah, bro, that shit's... Nah. <laughs> no. I had faith in Molly, bro. I had faith in Molly. Did you? <laughs> Did you really, though? Yeah, you <laughs> mid laner. Yeah, oh, oh. 
Of course, I have Vader. Uh, you, you think? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. It's good. Molly's gonna perform this week, so. Uh, yeah. All right. If he doesn't, I'll blame you. Yeah. Next, we got the total. Luzo was the only one who got it right next to uh, Ixie here. So, congratulations. All right, next, we're going to go down to uh, power rankings. All right, so power rankings are a little weird because it's staggered, as you could obviously see. Uh, nothing really changes my mind. I still have it the same. I'm waiting for the next two weeks to see where Lions go because I'm pretty sure I already told you guys Lions had the easiest going in. Now they have the hardest, so now they're playing, like, the top four teams by standings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, or at least by their standings, at least or whatever. I think the I'm same goes for some other teams as well, like some of the other top teams. Who got to wait like a couple weeks to kind of even it out? I think there's like definitely two teams. Like everyone's doubting Phoenix right now. I think because everyone thinks they're overhyped. But I think when we see them versus like stronger opponents and they beat them, it might increase their confidence. I don't know. What Phoenix? Also, this is this is the regular fucking season, so like it doesn't really matter if you're, like you're top. Yeah, no, it really yeah. doesn't. It really, as long like, as you just get into playoffs and yeah. you're not the last seed. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I definitely think uh, you can make the case that being second seed is better because I think in the playoff formats you you're gonna play what like fourth, fifth, or whatever, right? Yeah. But like the top three, top two, the top three teams could like definitely be strong. So if you're like in first place, I'm pretty sure you face like you'll if you win the next one and like the third place wins, you'd be going against the third place. Yeah, Where I it think all really depends on how your team matches up. Against fourth, so yeah, I feel like you can make bracket. Case. So you know, you got yeah, yeah. Lose, I feel like in game better to push, yeah. drop down. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. the top three are very interchangeable, so it's like you can't really know to like. Once the games get posted, yeah, I told my team so. like we might as well just aim for six or seven. We auto win anyways, so I wouldn't do that. But but my team said we'll no. see. We'll see. Yeah, because you don't want to go down there either. Like you don't want to end your position. To be honest, it's more so. Like, yeah, it's maybe... it's not it's not good to like strategically lose anyways. Yeah. Um, like, especially... like regardless, like the I top four teams fourth can all... to six is like the sweet spot. Honestly, f like fourth is like probably the sweet spot though. No, fourth is bad. No, because... fourth is really bad. Fourth is how's, really... that? how's fourth bad? Because you have um, Phoenix, um, Corgis, Lions, and and Feast or Famine. So it's one of those four. We just don't know who. And then mm -hmm. Lions. Yeah, I already said Lions, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Also, I I, I do think that. This, like some of the lower teams are like very strong. Like I, I think one lower team is like very strong. So it's like it puts the first, eighth, fourth, and fifth together. And if you're paired with the eighth seed, it's just I don't know. I I do think the Eagles are very strong if they come in as eighth seed. So yeah, I think they the thing is if they go in as eighth seed, right? What you're gonna play like the first seed and like first? No, no, no. First seed. Um, oh yeah, first does face eighth. Yeah, you're right. No, so I first think, no, uh, pick, no, it's a choice. It's yeah, a choice. first pick seven oh, for eighth. Oh Wait, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first Wait, or second? First, first place gets kind of it's like a deciding preference. factor yeah. of yeah. where they want to start so, in the bracket. Uh, unironically, first place is more valuable than any other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So much. if you're first place, yeah. what you can start in the bottom side or the top? You can start yeah, wherever you, you, you want. You choose your you choose your opponent, right? Yeah. Wait, that's so op. Yeah, so I know. So for yeah, so you don't want to strategically lose anymore. I I I, yeah. I, yeah, I want, yeah, at the beginning of the season, I was telling them I think the top three should pick. So like one can pick anyone from um. Five and under, two picks what's left, other five and under, and then three picks the last two, and then fourth gets what's left. Yeah, but that can make a really imbalanced bracket. But so yeah, it's like kind of yeah. Meh. well. How's it imbalanced? To honest, you have to I top thought, four strongest teams. I thought the best way is first plays eighth, second plays you know seven. Not that way, right? Yeah, that, that's the standard like sim single single yeah. The like, thing is, it's abusable. Like eighteen so. It is really abusable. Like, 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 if you're a seventh seed, but you're not really a seventh seed, it's like really, like, I yeah. don't know, like that's not. And yeah. you're pretty much you playing on seventh seed means that you're dodging first place, and you're playing on the opposite bracket. That's why it's so abusable. Yeah. Well, it'd be interesting to see. I think uh, Eagles could be a potential strong team, but. Mm. They do still have to fix a lot of issues. Okay, okay. Waffle sadly is pretty like weak. Like I, they're probably gonna make playoffs, but they're I don't pretty think weak. So. Uh, well, actually, I, I yeah, I could see. I, I don't think demons or savers gonna make no, it. No, they're honest. not. They're not. You're right. 
I, I can see Waffles going in as A. Yeah. To be honest, I thought Phoenix was a bit stronger, but they have like a lot of weak points that have been seen this past few weeks. I feel like you can probably just easily beat them now. Uh, you just watch their strengths, right? And the solo laners don't let them take over, but that's pretty easy to contain. Uh. And Feast or Famine beat them like 2 0. Uh, maybe, Fe I think Feast or Famine also kind of like are bringing it together a bit. I think so, so that'll, too. That'll be interesting to see. I think I playoffs, there's definitely like a lot of strains that are I, I think I thought it was going to be like a four team race, maybe even five, but it look it's looking like a six to seven team I agree. race. I, I think it's a lot closer than like most people would think. Mm -hmm. But I do think the top two teams are definitely farther than... I think it's also going to go down to matchups, because yeah. there's teams that are better bot side, mid side, mid jungle, top jungle, top mid... Or there's teams that have, like, you know, strong everywhere, but each team has kind of their strengths, and it's going to be, like, matchup-wise, if you're identical, who's going to play better, and who has the better players? If you're opposite sides, how are you going to... Play to your strengths and uh, play against theirs. So it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a banger. Sadly, I feel like there's still gonna be like two O's. I don't think there's gonna be like two yeah. one. Oh well, wait. When does play? When uh? When does it turn into best of five? Uh, I think the final game is best of five, right? Semifinals are they best of five? Or semifinals no? or finals? No, no, oh, yeah, no. It's it's semi semifinals or best of fives. So quarters are supposed to be best of three. Best of three. No, yeah. no, they're all best of five. They're all best of fives. No, no, no. Quarter, 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 quarters are best of three. I'm looking at it right now. Quarters that are best of three. Oh, so lame. Sem semis and grand yeah, finals. Lame. Yeah, semis yeah, and grand yeah, finals are best of three. finals is when it gets interesting. Because be I feel like you could... For the whole thing, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, if you could go to quarterfinals, like, they'll even be bangers if they're best of fives, I feel. No, Damn, okay. now if it's best of three, you could just, like, possibly, like, oh, wait, we forgot to ban this guy's one trick or something he's been playing. And then your team just... Is this some best of threes... It could just turn into like a 2 0 stomp right there, yeah. but then when best of fives, like there's you gotta win three all... games, and yeah, that's there's... like you gotta be the better team. Like, and there's yeah. like obviously in best of three, you, you could be the better team, but sometimes there's more, you know, there's more chance for Cinderella stories if like if it's best of three, so there's more upset potential in uh quarterfinals, yeah, yeah. And then semifinals, it's best teams gonna go through. Like if you're the better team, five. you want best of fives, honestly, more than yeah. anything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's all about like drafting and best of five. Consistency so, too. It's yeah. not gonna just be some dumb luck, right? Some dumb j jungle gank that ruined your plan, your plan, or some unfortunate team fight that ruined it, right? That can yeah. happen. Yeah, game and just make yeah, yeah. So and then the best of five, you gotta win three games. You can't rely fully on cheese. You can't rely fully on some lucky team fight, some lucky pick. It's I mean, be it'll happen team, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so all right. Next, we got to top and jungle duo. So, um, I, I did overall for this. So, number one, we got um, Doki and uh, Napkin. Yeah. Oh, Napquan. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah. So yeah, why well, you got Whiskey Nap and McSaw? You're the only one. They're fucking. Whiskey. They're related, and they're, they 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 even though sometimes they reek side. <laughs> I mean, he they the get the hell? timing right, man. They side? get the, like, no, well, I mean, the Maxol, Maxol, oh. top lane. Even though he's weak side, like, he, like, we won't leave it completely on an island, and it's also, like, they're pretty strong together as well. They know their strengths and weaknesses. I think uh, Maxol's also kind of underrated, to be honest. I think he's one of the best weak side players, honestly. So, I'm going to stick by that. All right, crab. You got um. You oh, and sorry. Iconic. Why do you have you guys as number one? Um, I mean, ever since week one, we've kind of just stabilized. I think the other. I think the top three on my list are interchangeable. Um, but I think it's we've kind of just stabilized a little bit better than. The rest of the pack, and uh, you could say it's it's more carried by Ida, but eh, it is what it is. 
I mean, it's kind of hard to gauge because, uh, well, Turnips wasn't there last week, and so Orenji just kind of got shit stomped. And then. You mean yeah. he was the number one player out of top 20? The fuck? Yeah, I, I made him. He was 2 and 6 in game one. Damn, man. This patch must have been really hard for him then. <laughs> no, they just gave me my one trick. <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying, if I was doing draft, I would have given you your one trick, too. Yeah, he would have got gapped. Then he would have got gapped anyway. No, he definitely wouldn't have. b okay. tried to go up there a bunch. Well, there's a difference between me and b by the way. <laughs> I'm just letting you know there's a there's a huge difference. But he is a good jungler, though. All right, next. We got um, Oregi and Turnips. So, um... Turnips, why are you number two? Uh, well, I mean, it's when it, I can just. I don't really think there's any good mid, like, top jungle besides you. And so, every other top jungle I definitely could shit on easily. So, I just put myself second because, I don't know, I feel like I, I get nervous or some shit like that against yeah. you. Well, Enders <laughs> thinks that you guys are fourth. Why, why is that, Enders? Oh, man. I, I know some shit behind the scenes. You don't I need to worry about it. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's all good, bro. Yeah, Next we got Sonic. yeah you're, you're chilling. I get it. Yeah. Next, we got Sonic and Gale. Um, I don't really know much about them other than uh, Gale doesn't get Sonic ahead or Sonic doesn't get ahead. It kind of just goes downhill. And there's not a lot of top duels, top in jungle, if you think about it. I was like, what the hell? There's not a lot of good ones. I mean... Yo, Lizzo, you my there? shit is empty. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'm there. I was just letting you guys talk because I'm late and didn't fill out anything. You played against Sonic and um, Gale, right? Last week? Yeah. Who was? How was that like? Um... Gale played really bad both games, and he kind of it kind of you can kind of tell that Sonic's just like force telling him what to do, and if he doesn't do it, Sonic's gonna rage. And uh, Sonic said um, Gale wasn't uh, or Gale and his team wasn't listening to him, and that's why they lost. But uh, yeah, I don't think Gale was the shot caller. It didn't seem like it from that team. It seemed like uh, they don't really have a shot caller. It's just Sonic uh, d tries to get as much as as what he wants in the game, and the rest is just playing solo queue. Fair. Uh, I mean, which doesn't sound like Gale. I mean, he usually is pretty vocal, honestly. Yeah, I would assume he is, but like, I don't. I couldn't tell like at all through our series. Of course you can't tell through your series. You're not on his team. The hell? Well, no, but like you can tell like when the no, team is communicating. Yeah. You can tell like if if Sonic starts walking up and Gale is like <laughs> lagging behind then you don't, you don't something's know, going on there. Yeah, yeah obviously I don't no, know for 100%. No, but no, like... it's not 100%, dude. No, nah, it could be just my luck, dude. <laughs> you can't you, guarantee you... anything, but only you people that team kind of actually know, know that, that question, right? It's like... Yeah, yeah I've, even, I've been on teams with Gale and he talked a lot. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm assuming he, like, talks, but, like, I'm just saying for our series, it looks like, for our series and some of the games I watched them, it just seems like they they're all, about, like, comp-wise, the way they play and they're disconnected. everything. They're like yeah, solo they just, players. They, they, yeah. they just, like, it looks like it's, I'm watching a ranked solo match, yeah, and I mean, they're all just, like, like Q-sniped everyone. That's how I felt when I played against them. The last year's Pandas. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, for, um, Random nomination, we have Lizzo, versus Fe Lizzo and Phoenix. I don't know, man. I didn't really know who else to pick. I think that was the only one. Because Phoenix gave you a level 2 gank, so he must love you. Are you talking about, like, week 2? Yeah. Yeah, week 2 don't matter, though. That was the things of the past. Alright, so now we got best top mid duo. Alright, so... Everyone pretty much put... Um, Napkin Bean and uh, Molly and Orenji. Um... Turnips. What's up? Why do you guys have... Why do you have not been... It being... Uh, well, personally, I think top mid duo is like... I personally don't think those lanes really interact that much, right? What it's like... I, I think it's more of a three-man job where it's like top mid jungle. I don't know. You should see our games. No, yeah, I, I agree. I agree with that. I don't know. It, it's hard. It's hard for like... A mid when mid roams right, the other mid just pushes and wave and then just counters like counters the other side of the map, right? Which is just like, I feel like you have to like include the jungle in this top mid jungle thing. I don't know. So I was just thinking like, what if Doki, Napkin, and Beanie are like a trio? So when I was answering the question, I was like, 
I added you into it, so that's no, why you I can't put add it. me, man. What the hell? Okay, I I can tell you that Beanie is probably the only mid laner other than this. Who's your mid laner? Is Sean uh, that is actually Sean? roams top? I don't see any, yeah. t and then any top players that roam mid is probably. Rain does it somewhat as well. It just kind of depends on yeah, but where we're behind. Yeah, but Rain doesn't do it by himself. He has a jungle with him. He's, He's done it on his own before. Okay. It's not like an every game occurrence, no. Okay. I I believe that then. With his um play style. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I meant. And then you guys have Solar. Blah. I mean, okay, so you have Solar and Crab. Who's Solar and Crab? Solar rain and grab. Oh, rain. Solar rain and yeah. grab. Okay. Yeah. Pity and Sonic. Really? Yeah, because Pity's like. I, I mean, it makes sense because Pity's like weak side mid, right? Is he? Yeah. There's no such thing as weak side mid, though. He minus <laughs> well be, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what? what? Weak side mid is just. No, he's... but he is weak side mid, even he's if that's not a weak thing. Weak side mid, yeah. <laughs> 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 Where do you think the ganks are going on that team? Man? I mean, ganks ganks doesn't mean you're weak side though. I mean, Kinda, does. I, he gets less of them. I so. mean, he has jungle proximity, so I, we're I, like just just hovering. Pity, by the pity is playing to scale, whereas Gale will just go top and go bot, and then yeah. yeah. That was, that was bot. Okay. I don't know. I think uh, Rhino and Tark are way better than Rhino and Tark. Yeah, all Tark does is just perma fucking roam, pushes his way, perma roams, and then invades Yo, me I, and goes top. I never saw Tark actually. Actually, maybe you could correct me. Did you ever, did you ever see him yeah, roam dude, by himself? Uh, was, right, about no, he literally <laughs> played Nocturne Pantheon, and I had a two v four the lane because he was literally on re like on yeah, he just perma pushing fucking... our bot lane with with, with Nocturne. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's fucking horrendous, bro. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, that's that's interactive. Oh shit, shit, that's my bad. Fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you think about uh, turnips and Molly crab? I think even though Molly had a bit of a rough week last week, um, wait, which wait, again wait, is kind of hard. Not even a top laner. What? Wait, what are you looking at? Best top mid duo. Yeah, yeah, you did turn turn uh, Oh, well. Did you mean and then it, it's Orenji and Molly. Right, what do you think about and Molly? Uh, yeah, I think Molly's a solid that. I think he's quite underrated, honestly. I think he's probably one of the top, like, three or four mids in the league. And then... That's not, that's not saying much, bro. All the mids fucking Yeah, suck. but... I don't know. I mean... You can't the compare pool. them to your solo queue teammates, okay? They're, like, good players. You'd have to compare them to other players in the league. Yeah. And, uh... Oh, shit. <clears throat> so, yeah. I... And then I think is still pretty good, even though, once again, he had a rough week last week. But it's just kind of hard to gauge anything because, uh... Turnips wasn't there. Alright, next we got Jungle Mid. So we got... Ida and Rain. Alright. Tell me why Ida and Rain is so good, um, Ixi. Uh, they're just, like, both good mechanically. And they play off each other pretty well, I think. I mean, when we verse them, like, the main focal point of that team is those two, in my opinion. And that's, like, the two we had to worry about in fights. The rest were kind of pretty negligible, honestly. I mean, Crab had a good game three, but that's only because it went to blind and he got her got, so. Yeah. yeah, this shit won't work in, uh, playoffs. Yeah. That's, okay. that's why that's why regular season is just like yeah it doesn't know. fucking matter like yeah. you can just straight up troll yeah what the hell? Something like you saw my team my team said no doki I'm like all right man all right they actually got Molly and Turnip yeah why are you guys so good Turn I don't know I, I control everyone so Let's see yeah Let's see all right next we got Tarek and Habibi. Yeah. Um, who else has them high? I don't think anyone else put them. Oh, in. Just you turn up. So. Oh, it, it is Xy too. Xy put uh. Yeah, he put him fourth. It doesn't matter. You put him third. So why you put him third? I put him the second. I dude, I I honestly think it's they're they're the team that gave me like the hardest like about a like time. Whenever playing against any team, the Eagles are definitely the hardest. Like, I don't know. 
yeah I it, it all came you know it all came down to mechanics and like team fight because every other team i can end the game in like 10 15 minutes but then it's like i actually had to like make strategic moves at like the right time and then yeah they're definitely the hardest team by far we faced against or i faced against with my team okay okay so that's why i put them third and next we got gail and pity what Car, why do you have Gale and Pity? What'd you say? Wait, oh, I messed that up. It's supposed to be Whiskey and JoJo. Whiskey JoJo. Yeah. Uh, whiskey line, right? Whiskey line and JoJo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait, shouldn't they be higher than Tark then? Yeah, it, it yeah, should have been, should. um, yeah, but it, it's fine. It should be, it should be yeah, they should there. be third. Yeah, yeah. and then. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Shitty forever. <laughs> All right. So why do you have whiskey and JoJo? Um, Enders. You have him as number two. Uh, I think that they work pretty well together. Um, I think it's no secret that our team we play through mid and bots. And Yezzy is a pretty fucking strong laner. Also like an elo sitter. Uh. I don't have proof, but <laughs> you don't need he it. definitely plays just as good as me, and uh, we, we we're both kind of uh, elucidators in our own way, but also hard stuck, all right? So I think mm, I think he's very strong um, macro and mechanically. Like, he knows how to play the Ooh. game. But who is? Which one? Uh, Yezzy. Jojo. Really? Did oh, he get, he, like, he, fucking he stomped? Oh, damn, I didn't know that. Wait, I heard um, he got stomped, like, a couple weeks ago, and he just... Mm, well, everyone has unfortunate games. I don't. I'm lucky. <laughs> you don't last show week, up. Last week you uh, did. Uh, what do you mean? I didn't even show up. Not <laughs> our fault you don't show up. Well, yeah, the games, the games I do show up. I, 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 I think Glenn just plays good around... I think Whiskey just plays good around his lane laners. He knows how to create leads and make the game easier for the laners and just play through them. So, I think Whiskey's on probably both of my top... And mid, yeah. So, I think just uh, whiskey knows how to play through his lane, so I just have him in my uh, top four in both of these categories. Also, because I haven't played against a team, well, I was played against a team. I, you know, obviously it a rain, but that worked that well. You know, that's why I have him high on there. We'll see. Uh, in the last three weeks, uh, since these teams are supposed to be better, we'll see what happens. Right. Next, we got Frozen and Witch. I don't know. I feel like they were disconnected, but that's just me. Yeah, Crab calls Frozen shitty. I feel forever. like it's just them two. It's just like them two, and then the rest of their team. I think this yeah, is the rest good, of their team is a bit lost. But there's not a lot you can do when Arctic is just kind of like running it down. Even with even with them two though, right? They're not like pop off players, right? They're not like they're like they, supportive. They, like, yeah, they they can't really cast, push their team to like a win. I don't I don't see. Maybe Witch a little bit, but I don't see Frozen. I feel like Frozen Witch. could be the carry, but like... Dude, they, he plays they the need stronger, bro. They need, it's because he plays scaling mages. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. plays the easy shit. And Frozen, he loses... Frozen, Frozen needs to tell them to freeze, you know? Like, like if yeah, Sonic I, was on that team, yeah, I think that I've, team would improve. From know. the stories that I've heard from Sub, it's just... Or even, I think you just switch up with like an ADC maybe, and have someone yeah. that's... You perform there. Yeah, I think the team's I've better with Pity Mid. I've heard that I agree. Pity had, had a terrible that's team. Oh Tim, Pity had a terrible God. team last play, and he brung that team from oh the God. grave. I do, I do think Pity can carry harder than, like Pity's champ pool is better for carrying or one v nineing than Frozen's champ pool. So yeah, I get, I, I can understand where. I think if Frozen just had game. I think Waffles have had games where they had leads, but they don't have that carry player that will like. Okay, I have a lead. I'm gonna run over this game. The early no, game isn't think... bad. Yeah, like the uh, yeah, early game is I fine. I don't think they the have that game is fine, player yeah. that's like you know that carry player. You, mm -hmm. you you obviously you have like an ADC who's supposed to be your carry, but not much you can do when he's just running down and he's like you go miles ahead in gold, but it seems like he's behind every yeah, time. There's, there's no like star or like main carry on the team that you can actually point towards like to carry you across the finish line. That's but... unfortunate. A turn of yeah. events for Waffle, sadly. Rip. Okay. Next we got best bot duo. So we got Ixie and Mao winning. 
But Turnips here has um, Enders and Outro. Why yeah. Is that? Granted, they played in, like, the weaker teams. I do think they're, like... Oh, I took I took this question, like, like Bali doesn't really fucking matter, bro. Like, it's, like, whatever, whoever's even on the top here, as long as they go even, it's, like, fine. But I do think Enders and Outro are, like, good at abusing shitty shit bot laners, so... Better than anyone else. And maybe, maybe Ixie and Mouse can, too, but... Yeah, I think those are only two, like decent bot lanes they can actually carry from but if anything you just go even and then you just win the game through top side so yeah that's pretty much my take all right crab why, why do you have ixi as number one then the mouse pad um i mean i think the top two are kind of interchangeable they seem to be like uh between enders and ixi it's just kind of the two carry ADCs of the league, everyone else, I mean, Bongo can too, but everyone else is just kind of not play through bot lane. And so I think the top two can be very interchangeable. I mean, not every, what? what was that last statement meant? Not play through bot lane. I, no, n no one else plays through bot lane. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's like a hard as their to carry. Through. Yeah, it's a hard yeah. to play through. Like one misstep from bot lane and you're fucked, right? Yeah. The game's over. So that's why, like, in our elo or like whatever the fuck can you clarify platform. to me like play through bot lane okay so like if you're gonna carry as an adc there's like two teams that do that that rely on their adcs to carry everyone else is just whatever oh, things just saying more so that like it's easy it's it's oh. easier to fuck up on adc than any other role no everyone else just farms and plays safe no, I yeah but... no i i agree i agree i yeah. think the top three like the top three are literally interchangeable yeah i would agree with that and then like there are like the rest of the teams are just like a bunch of yeah a bunch of fucking scalers that just like sit on their tower all game yeah. yep pretty it's, much it's, it's wave is it's pushing wave you know yeah it, no it's just literally like they wait for the wave to push to them they try and freeze it if they can't freeze it then they just like crash and that's what they do that's every time like <laughs> yeah, it's just so Ash, disgusting high me whatever like, I tell yes you guys, I exactly would greatest, i would be the <laughs> yeah. greatest bot lane in this league so I'll have to I'm, a, under tower. I'm gonna be honest, me and Ultra fucking every fucking match I've played so far in this league, it's been filled with just a full long gap. Yeah, yeah. Every bot lane I'll go against, they just get open the new Grand Canyon. It's just, like the lane phase, like they'll ban the Zeri, but then I'll just play lane focus champs that are like hyper carry still. Like, I have my the thing about Ultra me is my champ pool is pretty sh wide. Um, and I can play early game champs or scaling champs, and I'll st and I even in the scaling champs, me and Ultra have pretty much one lane when we shouldn't have. I think these AD there's a lot of ADCs that don't know the basic fundamental of when to go Dorans and launch for triple putt. <laughs> Arctic has gone multiple times Doran. Why you would call Arctic, Arctic like that, bro? No, I've heard <laughs> that Arctic did. I've heard his own teammates say he's on the spectrum at one point. What so. the hell? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, like. <laughs> <laughs> like he just like doesn't that. listen or anything. Yeah, man. In game, in game, right? Draft leagues, you know. All right, next we got Bongo, Neo, and Sniper Tomato. Who wants Sniper and Tomato? Huh? 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 Dude, I don't know them that much, actually. I don't uh, know. They're, they're not that good. I don't know why you put what them makes there. them so good? You know why they? They're, they're, they're not. Honest, good. I have. I I don't know who else, but so I there's no one else. Let me tell you why Sniper and Tomato are so good. They play the what's best the weak side. They play Ash, Jaime, Ash, push, <laughs> yeah, so push, push wave, push wave, sit under tower, and then when they're when someone tells them, "Yo, throw that ulti," they throw that ult across the map. Damn right, that's exactly how they play. That's the best way. I, I have my players play like that too. <laughs> that, I love it, but sometimes you know they play more aggressive though. So, and then we have Bongo and Neo. I don't really know too much about them, so I didn't really put them. Uh, obviously, you can see minus blank because I don't really know much about bot lane. So, I think um, Bongo's the clear cut. I'll be honest. Like, the the time we played them, the trade had happened, obviously, and Bongo was a pretty strong ADC. But we still beat him in lane. I don't. It's a. I don't know how to think of Neo. I don't know how Neo plays, but the lane <laughs> phase was pretty rough again for overrated, them. Overrated, bro. He's Is overrated. Neo the Shaco player? No, um, no, uh, Neo's. Uh, it's like Neo's flair. I think that's his. IGN? He was the Alawi player that beat the show in that. Yeah, he's an Alawi one trick. Oh, the top player. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had to play a <laughs> no, Yeah, and, dude, then, no, and, then, he... and then he played Nico and then he got absolutely destroyed. Dude, he's yeah, a better, he's, a, he's a better top player than he is a support. 
Uh, I don't think so. I think he's got one good pick then. Yeah. Okay. Wait. You're right. <laughs> Never mind. If he's yeah, wait, till, wait till he picks Alawi support. Oh, just, like, you're dumb, fucked. Dumb, you're so dumb fucked. Dumb no, nah, lethality Alawi support. He's gonna press it. You can chunk your health bar. It's just a dumb shit. Like, by eighty <laughs> percent. All right. Next, we got the Gigglers. Yeah. What do you guys think about them? Wouldn't they be the Queefers? No, yeah. I, th I think it's no. cousin Queef. What the hell? What's wrong no, with it... Lizzo? There's children oh, watching this. Yeah, bro. <laughs> dude, Lizzo. Never mind. It's okay. You like chromosomes. It's fine. All right. What do you think about the Gigglers? Um, turnips. Dude, I, I think they're 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 totally. They, they match every fucking play style that I can play, and then they just go even every lane. So it's like. Like oh, they can, they, they can, lane. they can nullify every fucking lane. So it's. it's... Do you have a playing um, Ash Jaime though? I'm no. not gonna review. I'm not gonna review anything, but I will say that they're good at making the team look good. They they do they do their job as ADC. Okay. So. Except when Gooey that's runs cool. it down. <laughs> well, yeah, that's because when when I'm there, like I tell him what to do. I tell the whole team what to do. So. Gooey doesn't listen to you. He listens. Dude, to Gooey this. exhausted me to not make me not take tower last week. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I didn't watch, bro, but... Next, we got no, the top was... eight, all right? Okay. We're going to spend at least five minutes on this topic. So, so no, no, this is supposed to be off points. Like, where do you think people are going to end? Because these last three weeks are really crucial for people. Like, yeah. you could go not... You could go 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. That's nine points. Weapon? Oh, when I saw this, I didn't see seeding. I just saw Yeah, I, order, I messed like... it up. I just fixed it, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I mine is like... The strongest teams to the weakest. That's how I put it. Of course, you put yours as second, Lamel. Of course, I honestly <laughs> think, and I honestly believe that. Dude, only winners put their teams first, bro. All right, next. Okay, so we got Mamas overall, but me and Turnips have Sharks. Like, what? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what. I, I don't know if you guys know this, but Sharks has like the <laughs> easiest last. Actually, no. You guys have two. No, no, you have. Who do you guys play today? Uh, uh, waffles. So we play waffles this week. Corgis next week, and then uh, lines the last week. Yeah, you guys have it. You see, one out of two. It's... One out of three easy. Yeah, we, we might go. We might lose to Corgis though. So that's the only team that like. Yeah, I'm playing lions. Yeah, I think we're zero two against them. So I don't know. I get the yeah, cold feet sometimes. And then the lions, of course. <laughs> well, lions are two zero. It's pretty easy. I mean, <laughs> no, that's a two zero for us. You know, I live rent free on Giggles' mind. You know that, right? Molly yeah, you, you're me. Me. you're saying that because you beat him in in-house when you had shit teammates, so. Dude, it, it, so are you it, implying it, it, you're going to show up for that matchup? Uh, probably not, honestly. I got shit uh, yeah. to do. Oh, honestly, I got, I got shit to do. It. I actually have a 100% win rate in this league, actually. <laughs> the, the matches I do show up in, I always win, so. Right, next, we got um, Sharks as over uh, second overall. But you have Phoenix. Crab, what? Tell me, tell me what I'm missing. <laughs> that boy um, crack. Did you do this by power right here or by like the last three weeks? What do you mean? Who do you think will end off like second? Is do you think Phoenix will end off as your second, like your second seed? Is that what you're trying to say? Or I don't know. We got beat by them. I gotta give them some respect, even though it was week one. I think more. Um, I think that that's more of a power rank than yeah, more power it, Okay. Yeah, it, it makes sense if it's more of a power rank. Than... I would have never. Thought about that. Okay. Next, we got Lions as third. Ixie, why you got Corgi as third and not the Lions? Huh? What's wrong with you? We're scaling, bro. I see. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> You're going to trigger me. All right. <laughs> we got... Um... Next, we got Corgis. But... So, Crab has Shorks. And Enders has Feast or Famine. What? You think Feast or Famine are going to end? Or they're getting hot. Power ranking. Oh, power I, ranking. I, I, oh, so I you think, think their Enders power ranking is top four? Yeah. I, uh, Feast or Famine, I have them four. Yeah, I have them fourth. I have them over you guys, for sure. I think Feast or Famine have, like, in terms of leaps and strides better than when we face them. I think they're actually playing pretty well. They're getting hot at the right time. And to be honest, I think Corgis is a strong team, but I think Feast or Famine... Uh, with how they're playing, I think they're fucking like smash matchup now against a lot of teams. So I think they're gonna definitely be a menace, and I, I have them fourth right now. Bro, they have Lizzo, bro. What? 
That's a free Akali ban draw. Now you can free up some stuff. Give him Akali, bro. Are you gonna ego me next turnips? Yes, I will, bro. Ego Q. Next we got um. What am I going with? What am I going with? Corgis? Beast? No, 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 no. Um, Crab, why do you have Shark solo? That's... What do you mean? I thought I had him at three. You, you had us at four. four. I, I think this more. I think he's thinking about more power ranking. I don't know. I don't it's fucking fine, know what. It's fine. It's all right, all right. Nah, I, don't know, I don't know what he's thinking for yeah, this I list. Know, I don't need it, bro. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Right. It, it was a, I didn't clarify it, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I'll yeah, crap for a moment. For a moment. Other than for the last two. All right, so next we got um, Phoenix. Um, turn up, you got Lions. Why, why you have Lions down there? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't think Lions is that good, honestly. But you got Phoenix at what third? Yeah, I think Phoenix is way better than Lions. So. Good. Good. Wait, I'm gonna cool. those words next week when we face them. Yeah, well, honestly, also the points. Uh, oh wait, is this the seeding? Yeah, oh, I was about to say turn up. No, you got to be trolling with this uh, list. No, guys. I'm definitely trolling. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I actually, it was ranking, yeah, yeah, me too. Wait, it's fine. It's fine. It's all right. Yeah, next, next he did week, this on the plane. Next week, <laughs> fuck off, bro. <laughs> the, the, the reason this is gonna matter for you guys, so it will matter for you guys. We'll do it next week as well. All right. So yeah. next we have uh, Feast of Famine as um, six. Mm, you guys have them pretty high, but turn up. Do you have eagles? Ixie, yeah. You have Phoenix. Spill, spill us, tell us, <laughs> tell us. I need to know. Tell you what, tell you what. Why do you think Feast or Famine will end fifth place over Phoenix? I think right now, I I mean, I didn't do it off the seating either, to be honest. Okay. I just did it off the strongest team. I mean, okay. like, yeah. I think like, everyone did power ranking, right? Almost everyone did power ranking. I, 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 I did team for playoffs. I read it as like, okay, these are the top eight teams that are probably yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like in my okay. head, like, that are okay. the best. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So why? That... Do... Okay. So, uh, crab. Why do you have waffles last? And not. I mean, Eagles? I think Eagles is kind of a wild card. Yeah. I don't. I don't know because well, like the first four weeks of the season, they flopped roles like every week. So it's like, how well is the team actually gonna mesh? Yeah, but they got Seb on their team. Like Seb will one v nine. What are you doing? Well, I think everyone Dude, here as well. I That's listened to Seb rant about his team. That team is not going far. Who? Wait, that equals? Okay. Seb is frozen forever. They just switched teams. Man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll right. be honest. That Waffles team is... Oh, waffles. They're going to make playoffs, but it's going to be unfortunate uh, quarterfinals for them. They're not guaranteed. They're not guaranteed. No. Not guaranteed. If, they, if they make playoffs, I would choose them as... No. as <laughs> the first when Demons the upset the Waffles this no. week? Or Wait, are they um, Phoenix this week? No, Demons they beat already Demons. Demons. Eight, they already beat Demons, didn't they? No, but, say, um, but if the, if the, if Demons wins two zero and Waffles lose zero two, then they're tied. I yeah, think. Dude, yeah, these I, points are crucial. I, I mean, I guess it could happen, but damn, if that happens, I, I played, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think, yeah. Corgi's played Demons week nine. We might just throw the game to get better seating. <laughs> Well, no, we don't Bro, you should say that on stream. Don't you can't say that on stream. We're already, gonna get we're, already, we're already versus the demons, dude. What are you oh, my about? bad. What? Well, don't say anything more, Doki. Because they, they could kick, they, they could kick you out if it's in the rules. So just, just don't. Uh, what? I just realized there's a demons two o phoenix ff phoenix ff to this. Oh, what about the saber? I told you that. Yeah, I looked at him like that. Hey, uh, Demons 2 0 Phoenix do the FF. You mean the first pick the foe team? That one? <laughs> that, that team? The, the foe's gonna show you. He's about to show you this game while he was a first round pick. That's all I'm saying. Dude, they just FF. Wait, wait, what? No in? fucking way. Yes. Wait, what? FF Phoenix, Phoenix oh, just FF did. to Demons. Oh, that's huge, actually. Because they, they didn't have subs. Oh, no, they do have two subs. They probably had to have a third sub. Oh, they probably had to have a third. Yeah, that's. What I'm I looking at the subs right now. Let me, let me check. I'm the only yeah, captain dude. here. Only captain. Let me verify. You know. Really good for demons. I mean, I hate FS. What I the fuck? So, the so the top laner. So the top laner, because Pity's um the captain right now. Um, because Gale's sick or out with something. So Pity um he submitted a sub for Sonic and a sub for Gale. Both went through. Oh. And let me see their bot lane. Damn. Yeah, I know like, Gale had exams and shit. Damn, the yeah, two apparently one of under team they needed left. a third sub. One of Yo, the what? I think I don't know who it was Pity, uh, Freya, or uh, fuck the other. Who's their support? Yeah, exactly. Who? Uh, Harvey. Harvey. Oh God. <laughs> Yo, may, may, maybe Gale was dodging a Nitrin. I don't think. Nitrin was subbing. Uh, he was subbing in two. Subs needed. Uh, 
the, the oh. Fox said they had three subs needed, and we have two subs for two weeks, so we can't reschedule if a player can't. Wow. Where, that, all I'm saying? Wait, Phoenix actually drops super Yeah, low. Phoenix drops. Damn, Ixie, you just got your... Damn, you put him at six. You did know all something. Right, I did out. I just prepped for drafts. Good shit. Please. Well, I just knew that Gale had exams, and he might miss games. That'll make uh, that'll, that's actually going to make for good like, we need to make your Eagles versus Demons now. That's like, oh, part of the street is uh, Sonic just didn't want to play after the beatdown he got last I told, week. I guess I don't have to. I guess <laughs> they did it for me. They just threw the game for me instead. You week know, week eight is going to be a banger, and it's a stream game: Eagles versus Demons. <laughs> Look at how Bongo says what losing the FOS does to a team. All right, now, next okay, week's stream just game got spicy. Yo, next week's stream is Demons versus fucking. Wait, where was it? Demons Eagles? versus Eagles. That's yeah. winner goes to playoffs. Yo, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm not lying. I'm looking at week nine. There's no way the, that so wait, the, there's... And there's any other game stream except Shorks Lions, right? Like I think Shorks Lions is the only like streamable. Well, game. no, it depends. It depends on playoffs. Because for example, um, for who? For um, bottom team, bottom team, man. No, literally, like Sabres Corgis. Come on, Shorks, Shorks would versus Lions would be a thing. But like, say if um, say if Black Mambas needed to win to get the first seed, and Demons needed to win to get in playoffs, or like. You never know yet, no, and also God, I think I think, I think the when the one thing to talk about is the waffles and like how they're gonna come back from this. Like it's okay, so it's really bad for your team that the demons. Just I don't think the forward. waffles win a game in the next three series. Yeah, but okay, but like there's still a team that we have to talk about because like they're also well, in contention. They for, still like, they year. they face Sabers week eight. Yeah, okay. I, I definitely I think they can do playing it. spoiler over here. They, they just so... need to win the next two matchups. I think. I think no, I think waffles gonna make it. Yeah, I think. I think the thing is right they now. To demons. Two o. That's yeah, they the thing. I think I think demons have a little bit of a shot if they're getting they get the two o f f from uh, Phoenix, right? But you're gonna put face against the Eagles, and I think Eagles are gonna win that. To be honest, well, like there could be an upset, but I think Eagles will just win that. Now as long Eagles as, are back. Right, guys, 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 guys. As long as Waffles beats Sabres week eight, then it's gonna come down to who wins Eagles versus Demons. All right, guys, guys, guys. We're gonna straight to predictions. Just, we we let spend ten. All right, so we got Corgis overall over lines for right now. Then we have Waffles. I'm sorry, Sharks overall. Then Mamas. Then FOF. Then Phoenix. Obviously Phoenix FF to Demons. So we all got it wrong. And then, just... <laughs> except, except you, <laughs> Dougie just switched. Oh, the last oh my bad, my bad. I forgot I put demons. I'm gonna switch. Guys, switch I always put. Switch. I put demons because um... Dougie rigging the predictions. <laughs> I forgot I had demons. Next, we have um, uh, game of the week. Everyone's saying Lions versus Corgi. I kind of think it's Eagle versus um, Feast, but you know this is because no, of it's not. But no, it's even. Not. I was actually going to say Feast beats Phoenix one week and then loses to Eagles the next week. He, what kind he, of... he normally has one upset, so this week he has one upset, and that upset mm -hmm. is Eagles versus Feast or Famine. He knows. I mean, you guys read the script and the storyline I put in here earlier, man. Like, even if we lose to Lions or <laughs> if Lions lose to us, it's that. not an upset. Like, it's it's not. Like, both teams are considered good. And what? then, no, well, we already make playoffs, so I'm okay. That's I'm gonna be honest. The storyline yeah, on like... is that, no, the, the storyline on Corgi's vs. Lions is the fucking two best bot laners going against each other, and it's just gonna hell? be that. Yeah, it's not the two best. Uh, bot the lane, the, the game yes, it is. No? Loki. Who is the Who's the two best bot laners? Is Ixie and Mousepad? Um, and no, then... he means like he means like ADC. Like ADC. Like ADC. Like ADC. ADC. What do you talk? Ixie doesn't play ADCs like you do. Ixie plays bot lane. He plays Rengar. <laughs> Somebody get this guy off the mic. It did, it did. All you play are attack, damage, carry, long reach, right? It's I actually play, play Ringer PC. No, no, that's not right. I play freaking the main Seraphine Syndra okay. Aurelian Oh my god, I can't wait to see it tonight. I play it. No, I can't I'm wait to see that Syndra bot. That's not what the team needs to win. They won't need me on hyper carries, so I play them. Napkin's gonna have to pull his weight against the Doki, who do you, Doki, no, who do you think are the not, two best bro. bot lanes? Then? He's gonna have to if something uh, he wants that to happen. Like Ixie 15. and Mousepad, and there's like a big gap, and then it's like Sniper Epic Tomato, because they play safe. Yeah, he's a big gap. He doesn't mention me, and, and it's like he's slow. Um, and there's a big gap by Sniper and Tomato. And I've told right. you, as I've made Even total, though as a I did the historical <laughs> biggest lane gap against them. But yeah, Dude, Sniper's never lost lane. Haven't you heard? Like, I, I, I literally ask Ixie every time we play, oh, is this bot any good? He's like, uh, he tells me this, 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 and I'm like, all right, I'll be there at this, 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 that. That's it. Like, yeah, sure. 
pretty right. much. I'm a secondary for the bot lands, honestly. You know, only, only thing I know about bot lane is I'm not, I'm not good. Don't ban, don't ban bot side, man. Don't don't ban any of the ADCs. All right, same. We we already have some um, bans, but I don't know where they're going. Want to do some? Want to do handshake? No ban. That'd be kind of nah, crab. Crab, are you serious with that? When you just type crab? <laughs> yeah, did he? No way. <laughs> Wait, no, no cookbook last week and LCE. Yeah, no, I know. He, I know he did that last week, but you know way he's doing it right now, bro. There's no way. <laughs> no, I was. No it was shake, a joke. Okay. It was a joke. That's, it could be, but it's bad for dumb. <laughs> no, he did that once upon a time last week. So like, who knows? It could be that again. All right, guys, it's time to cut us off. All right, um. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna Who's go. gonna say goodbye to the stream, guys? You can, bro. Hey, hurry up, hurry up! They're waiting. Okay. All right, see you guys.